I've always worked in and around music, but almost always working on the independent side of things. I sort of got away from that and started working for a large sort of music corporation and it was a little bit soul crushing. It made me sort of have this moment where I'm like, I have to go back and work with people that are making things that are interesting and that they care about. There's something of like a renaissance happening with American-made products in general, and that's definitely apparent in food and drink. People want to know who makes their food, who grows it. This is granola I found called Unordinary, and it's definitely unordinary. Small Batch America, we work with independent food and drink makers and help them grow their business. Mass Brothers, Sour Post Pickles, Brooklyn Brine, Van Brunt Stillhouse. We find marketing opportunities for them, serving interesting, creative people. We're having some pretty awesome success turning bands onto these, these small makers and getting lots of exposure for them. It's my live workspace. This is where everything happens. Yeah, so we're just gonna put some stuff together for the band Wigs. We're gonna go to their sound check and give them some uh, indie food and drink backstage afterwards. We get some of this moonshine. It's like white wine and moonshine. This guy, uh, Big Spoon, is out of North Carolina. If you think you know peanut butter, you don't. <laughs> Until you've had this. Today, we're gonna visit some makers that are, happen to be in the neighborhood, people that we consider friends and partners. The Mass Brothers facility just down the street. We're gonna pop in, uh, catch up with them, see what, they're, what they've got going on, see if there's any upcoming projects that we have that we might be able to fit them into. We can 100% do that. We love the heck out of Fallon. He's yeah. a local guy. We're gonna go to Brooklyn Roasters just down the street. They're a Brooklyn coffee roasting company that we've worked with and they're awesome. It's our it's kind of our goal to get people to pay more attention to that little stuff. You know? I guess in some ways getting the word out is the hard part. So lunch was with Renee Holland. She is a friend and she is the owner of Bon Chovy. It's a fried anchovy business here in Brooklyn. Another small maker doing well. Later in the day, we're gonna go to Rough Trade. One of our favorite bands, The Wigs, is playing there tonight. So oh, this yeah. is probably a little bit nicer than you guys are used to. I'm okay. guessing. Yeah. So the still house is uh, so good. Yeah, yeah we really, really uh, love uh, it. Thank you. I'll tell Derek, Derek, the guy who makes it. The reason I want to do this is because it's so similar to what I did before that made me happy, which was helping small, independent people like find fans, basically. I do work for myself. I work with people that work for themselves. It definitely is sort of like, it is an indie lifestyle. I make conscious decisions about supporting independent businesses. Once you know how hard that is and how much passion is behind that, you don't want to buy anything else. It's kind of important to walk the walk. <laughs> 